Hello Shea Babes, it's Myla Shea, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys scroll down and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new, then welcome back. Make sure you guys check out my social media, because if you don't have me on my social media, then baby girl, what are you doing with your life? You're doing nothing, obviously. So today, I'm here with a video telling you guys how to move out of your parents' house, or your auntie's house, your grandma's house, your uncle's house, whoever you live with, you don't want to be there, because you're watching this video. Before we go ahead and get into this video, I do want to mention this hair from Beauty Forever Hair, because I know you guys are going to be asking about it this is a 24 inch body wave wig you guys this hair was sent to me from beauty forever hair and i did just put some wine curls in it i am 5'4 and this is where the hair goes on me you guys i freaking love this hair so much beauty forever hair has some of the best quality hair for affordable prices and this hair did come pre-plucked it does have a little bit of a cast on the lace because i did have on makeup yesterday but other than that this hair is super super bomb super full um it came pre-plugged and all i did was bleach the knocks on it and this is what it looks like so definitely make sure you guys go ahead and check out beauty forever hair all the links for this hair will be in the description box down below baby so if you want this hair and this look make sure you guys check them out in the description box and let's go ahead and get into this video so basically i'm just going to be giving you guys five tips on how to move out how to get your own place how to boss up period and we are going to be ignoring my nail in this video it broke so we're not gonna judge me first things first you can't be broke i'm just gonna keep it real you gotta have a job and you need to have a job for at least three months because they are going to need multiple paycheck stubs from you they're gonna ask for like your last two months of paycheck stubs and it's just good to have a job for at least three months just so that you can make sure that you're stable on that job which you never really know if you're gonna be stable on a job but it's just good to make sure that you have a job that you have steady income because without steady income how you gonna pay your bills how let me know and i'll wait and also along with making sure that you have a job, you need to make sure that you have a job that you will be able to pay all your bills with. Because when you are moving and trying to get approved for an apartment, you have to make at least two to three times the rent. So say that your rent is like $800, you need to be making, what, $2,400? Let me do some math because I really feel so. $816, yeah. <laughs> I'm smart. I did that off the top of my head. So you need to be making at least $2,400 a month gross income in order to get approved for an $800 apartment, if that makes sense. Okay? Number two, you need to go ahead and calculate any bills that you already have because like me, before I moved into my apartment, I already had bills. I had a car note, I had car insurance, I had a phone bill. Like, you should already have bills but sometimes you don't and your parents pay for all of that stuff for you but i already did have bills so what you need to do is make sure you calculate all those bills that you already have so that you can have a clue of how much money you're going to be spending because on top of the bills that you already have you about to have rent and you about to have water and you about to have gas light bill cable wi-fi all of that so you got to think about the bills that you already have and be like hmm can i even afford to move out right now like can i do that you have to really evaluate yourself because you don't want to move out and then get put out okay so there are two things that go with number three make sure you find somewhere to move within your budget and also save so with save i recommend that you save at least five thousand dollars not everybody can do that if you can't save five save three because y'all don't understand well some of y'all might understand but y'all are watching this video so you have to when you're moving you have to pay a deposit you have to pay your rent you have to go ahead and set up your lights and all of that you're probably going to have to get cable and wi-fi and renter's insurance all of that costs money not even including all the stuff you're going to have to buy to furnish your apartment and like everyday things that you're going to need. Save, save, save. And I'm telling y'all that now because I saved money. I bought so much stuff ahead of time and I'm like, dang, I'm still buying stuff and I'm still spending money. Sis is tired. <laughs> Mom, can I move back in? 
place. What I did to make sure that I could be stable when moving out and in order to save, I cut out any extra expenses. Like I wasn't eating out as much. I wasn't really shopping as much. I was just cutting out so many extra things that I was doing. But also quarantine did me well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I started saving a lot during quarantine because, you know, obviously we couldn't really go places like that. Now I was online shopping. I was online shopping. I could have saved some more, but it is what it is. I recommend you just cut out like fast food or just like going in stores and shopping and doing stuff like that unless you're buying stuff for your apartment, okay? But other than that, I recommend you save as much as you can because you are going to need it. And that is before and after you move in. Even after you move in, you need to make sure that you save because you never know what may happen. And that is whether you're working a nine to five or if you're an entrepreneur, you never know what might happen. Some weeks you make a hundred dollars, some weeks you make a thousand dollars when it comes to entrepreneurship. And then on your job, you don't know, they might fire you tomorrow. So you just need to make sure that you save. Now, this was a big thing for me. Number four, make sure you shop for your apartment before you move in. I had my furniture my dining set i also had some home decor i had my bed my mattress all of that stuff ordered before i even stepped foot in this apartment i literally i wanted to make sure that i had all of the most expensive stuff out of the way and i also had like some decor and stuff like that if you do want to go check out my moving playlist i will link it in the description box down below and you can see my apartment haul and like some shopping videos and stuff like that but i got a lot of stuff before i moved in and it is so much better to do that that way some people don't want to lug all that stuff in the apartment but i would rather do that than to have to spend thousands of dollars after I just paid my first month's rent, my deposit, and got all this stuff cut on Wi-Fi, cable, you know, all this stuff. If you don't, that first month that you move in is going to be hell because you're going to be spending so much money. Number five, make sure you buy a calendar and that you make a budget list after you move in so that you can stay stable and be successful in your apartment. You don't want to have to worry about how am I going to pay rent. You need to make a schedule. You need to also continue to save. And that's why I say save as much as you can beforehand so that you can still have some savings left when you move in. But you want to continue to save. Not just keep what's in there. You want to keep adding to it. I don't care if it's $5 a week, if it's $20 a week, if it's $100 a week. I don't care if it's quarters and pennies and dimes. Who cares? Quarters and pennies and dimes, they all add up. Save them. I have a calendar that I have in my room so that I can see it every morning when I wake up. Basically on here, it tells me when my bills are due. Lights, Wi-Fi, car note, renter's insurance, car insurance, my credit card phone bill stuff like that so that i can keep up with my bills because if not sis you're gonna have so many bills that you're going to start forgetting a lot of my bills i already have on auto pay to be completely honest so that i don't forget because i don't want my credit to get messed up and i also just want to make sure i stay ahead of everything i do hope that this video did help you guys with maybe some advice and tips on how to get into your first apartment and how to move out um if you guys have moved before or you have any experience with moving make sure you guys leave some comments down below to help out those who want advice and yeah because i'm sure i couldn't think of everything this is just what came to the top of my head i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later